Hi, everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to deploy your own quorum based blockchain and nodes using the settlement platform. But before we do that, let's talk a bit about what quorum is and what makes it special as a blockchain. And so quorum was originally created by JP Morgan, along with consensus in order to create a blockchain specific for the finance industry. JP Morgan sold its share to Consensus, and now it is fully owned by Consensus, but it is a product that is meant specifically for enterprises to build uh, their businesses with blockchain. And so Quorum offers a lot of really neat features, um, including enterprise-grade privacy. So you can use Quorum both uh, with the mainnet Ethereum blockchain, so it is EVM compatible, or as a private network, and you can share those transactions uh, in a private way within a quorum blockchain. As well, it is optimized for high frequency operations, uh, which is very crucial if you want to make a lot of transactions, which is necessary for enterprise grade applications. And as well, it allows space for regulatory compliance. So it has uh, plenty of features for permissioning that allow for the participants um, to align their relations based on whatever banking re uh, regulations that maybe they need to adhere to. Uh, and so compared to other chains, Quorum is interesting in that it has, uh, you can have three different types of consensus mechanisms uh, that you can choose from. So you can choose Istanbul, Byzantine Fault Tolerance. It has its own Quorum Byzantine Fault Tolerance or Raft consensus mechanisms, uh, which all allow for a pretty... Uh, high level of uh, scalability. Um, as well, you can make the blockchain to where you don't need to have any transaction fees. So no gas is possible on Quorum. Uh, it allows for permissioned networking. So the peer-to-peer -peer layer is modified so that the connections uh, can be based on permissions. Uh, and there is no mining whenever there is a significant uh, decrease in say the transactions, which really helps save a lot of uh, memory space on hardware. What's also interesting is that Quorum uses its own client called Go Quorum, which is a, a fork of Go Ethereum or Geth. Um, as well, it has uh, a bunch of different features uh, built inside of it. Um, but so we can see here that in this diagram of the architecture that it has what's called Tessera, which is its privacy layer that's built into Quorum. So you can have private transactions, even having with a public store of data, so you can get a bit of the best of both worlds. Uh, and so uh, Quorum has been able to prove itself by being used by many different companies. Um, Comgo, Prescriptive, and Covantis are three different startups that have been based on using Quorum. Uh, for its blockchain applications, uh, Comgo for uh, commodity trade, Prescriptive in the healthcare system, and Covantis for global trade. And you can see at the bottom that Quorum has been used by plenty of large enterprises, including Microsoft, including SAP, including Novartis, JP Morgan, of course, as well. Um, and so we can see that Quorum is a trusted blockchain for many different enterprises. So there you go, that is Quorum. Let's go and see now, how do we deploy it on Settlement? And so we are here on the Settlement platform. I've created an organization for our Quorum demo and I've created an app called Quorum App. And now I'm in the dashboard where I can begin to deploy our blockchain network. And so I'm gonna click here uh, on Start here. You can also go to Blockchain Networks and you can uh, start it there as well. Um, which will take me there. So I'll go add a blockchain network here. Quorum is used as a permissioned network. Um, so we're going to click on Quorum. We're going to click confirm. We're going to give it our network name. So let's say this is uh, our Quorum. Uh, we have to give the name for a node. So the node uh, in Quorum uh, gets deployed at the same time. So let's say Quorum node one. And then we can choose our deployment plan um, and configuration. I'm just gonna do a shared on Google Cloud based in Brussels, the smallest resource pack, and we can configure uh, our uh, settings if we want to. Right now we have gas prices zero um, and we're gonna click confirm. 
And so now this is going to spin up our Quorum blockchain network. It's going to take just a few minutes uh, to do it, which is a huge amount of savings in terms of time and resources by using the settlement platform. There's no need to go in and look up the documentation for Quorum to see how exactly everything needs to be set up. We've done it already for you and we allow you to deploy it in a matter of minutes. So it's deploying right now. Let's uh, skip ahead to when everything is already done. All right, and so we can see now that our blockchain has been deployed and it is running. See our Quorum network, which is running Quorum, uh, running in Brussels, as we put, it was created uh, today. Um, and we can see all the different information that we would like to know. Um, so we can see the details, we can see the participants. Uh, right now, it's just us. Um, the Quorum demo organization is the one who owns it. Um, if we scroll down, we can also see our node. So we have one node running that is validating. Uh, so if we click on that, it'll take us to the page for the blockchain nodes and it'll open up for Quorum node one, which is the name that we gave our first node. We see that's a validating type. Uh, we can see the blockchain network it's done for. So you can see that it has all of the information that we could potentially need, how to connect uh, the RPC point, uh, making requests, uh, how many requests have been made, um, et cetera, et cetera. We can query our node for maybe some uh, data that's on the blockchain currently right now uh, that maybe we would need using GraphQL. Uh, and we can see its resource usage and its logs. Um, if you go back to blockchain nodes, we can actually create more than one type of node for Quorum. So this one's a validator. But if we go uh, to add another node, go here, Let's say this is quorum node two. We can select whether we want another validating node or a non-validating node. Um, and so uh, we are recommended, of course, by quorum itself to run at least four validator nodes. Um, but let's do the non-validating one since we already have a validating one. And let's go in and give it its deployment plan. And then we can confirm. And that will spin up. It'll take just a couple of minutes. You can see that it is that easy in order to start up a quorum blockchain and begin deploying as many nodes as you need, whether it is validating or non-validating, all in one place. So there you go. There you have it. That is Quorum on the Settlements platform.